all right hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel once again here is the voice of Simon precious and on this video we're going to be discussing something really really crucial something really important and i've been getting lots of questions about these lots of requests and funny enough this is not even a big deal it's something so so simple i right, just have to um the logic about it so i'll advise you to watch this video to the end now listen to me attentively I will show you a few things you need to understand about that and I will show you uh, different methods you can use and I will also recommend some things for you all right so let's get started without wasting much of our time all right so this question um, is that people usually ask me precious assuming I have um, I got a new phone and I got a lot of projects on my old phone and pixel lab how do I go about moving the stuff how do i work around my ways through these things because i really have a lot of projects i would like to get back to i have 200 projects three or 500 projects how do i really do this it's it's really bothering i even got a request from someone so pained that he actually um lost all his projects which is quite painful all right so this video is here to help you and um you will get everything right this is not something that may work or not work it's it's definitely the way right that's the way all right let's get started let's get started so um a quick one i will have to reference something before i get started fully because it's maybe related and some of you might get confused so let me just um drop that first you may uh you might have heard about plp files plp files all right so let me just quickly explain what plp files are for those of you that don't understand plp files are files that are created on pixel lab and can be edited uh in short they call them P pixel lab projects all right pixel lab project or uh, pixel lab presets rather they are actually pixel lab presets but we all know them as projects all right if you have a project and you have created a lot of a lot of things in that design a lot of layers you know the design is well it's looking good and you want to send the um editable form of it to someone else you could actually do that using plp files you convert that your um, project to plp file send it across to the other person through any medium whatsapp telegram even bluetooth or sender and everything is going to work perfectly the person will be able to import that file to their pixel lab application and they'll be able to edit it as long as it is still there on their device all right so um some people might think this is the best option using um this method you discover that it's also possible for you to retain your project on pixel lab if you get a new device you could possibly save each of your projects as plp files send it across to your maybe google drive or telegram or someone else's whatsapp someone that could send it to you later after you have gotten the new phone ready right but this is kind of stressful and almost impossible for someone like me if you're like me you've got tons of projects you have like 500 plus projects a project sometimes would cost um could be as big as 20 mb imagine um average of 10 mb per, per project and you have like 500 projects you know that is bulky right and you don't even have the time to save each of your files each of your projects you can just save one them one after the other save the one after the other because you want them right so it's maybe really 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 something so stressful all right so this is not the best way to do that i'm going to show you something easy just one click and you are done all right so first let me show you some things from a pixel lab and trust me i was doing it earlier but um something else happened and that was why i created all this that's why i created all this now one thing you should know about pixel lab i've never created any design from this place you see this is the only thing i have for and i named it p1 just for you to understand this thing better this is a new device and i would move all my needed um pixel lab projects to this particular phone right now and you're gonna see how it works so all you need to understand is that whenever you download pixel lab and you granted pixel lab access to your um to your file manager pixel lab creates a, 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 a creates a folder for itself automatically so if you come to your google files here or your number file manager when you tap on your internal storage tap on your internal storage um just tap on it like this here you can see internal storage when you tap on it you get to see a a pixel lab folder all right now you can see it above there because i was sending something earlier this is a pixel app, right this is pixel app. so you could see this this image 
was the image I, I was creating here I saved it I saved it all right I saved it as JPG and you can see it here so your pixel lab folder has three um, categories of folder or let's say two folders and other files other files are the images so if I should save under image on pixel lab it comes here it comes here it comes here so these are, 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 are image files maybe JPG or PNG I think those are the two we have available on, on, on pixel lab all right and we also have auto save and preset auto save are, are those things you 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 maybe you lose um, some of your projects maybe your phone goes off you know without you saving a project and probably you have created another design after that then you remember that there's a particular project that you have not saved right so if you come to recover auto save recover auto save you would see um top 10 projects that you did it is uh pixel lab and it auto saves there all right so it's actually storing itself as the data under this auto save folder and also preset all right now preset is your uh, preset is your project because if you check the project here i saved i saved this project as p1 and on that you that's why i said if you if you delete your pixel lab application it does not affect i'm still going to create other videos on that other videos on that it does not affect your project if you delete your pixel lab application it does not affect your project because your project are stored on your phone not on pixel lab application all right they're just connected so there are ways to get all your projects back in fact most of the time you don't even need to do anything you delete, delete your pixel lab then get another pixel lab everything just come back there automatically if you do it the right way all right so how do we now go around this because we have it here now the, the trick is that if you can be able to get this particular file all right that is under preset on your former phone if you check your former phone and everything is just like this so you get a multiple of these guys here because they are your projects for those that have a lot of projects these guys if you can send them through any medium to your phone here if you send them through Xender, for example, you will find them in on that Xender folder. Then you now move them to this preset folder. Then all of them will appear on your Pixel app. It's as simple as that. Now you don't need to understand all this um, <laughs> stuff I've been discussing about things. You don't have to understand. All right, so I'm going to show you the practical aspect of it right now. You have to follow through. Okay, so this is what you have to do. Uh, for me, for me, this is what I'm going to do. So let me just show you that. Um, I come to my sender you could see i've been down i've been sending some pixel app stuff here so let me show you what i did exactly now you come to your phone storage rather than come to this place make sure you come to this particular folder area on sender on your whole phone let's assume this is my whole phone i can't use my camera right now so let's just do it like this let's assume this is my whole phone and i come to my pixel app um, folder okay so for me i need both the autosave the preset i don't even need the autosave that much but i need the presets which is the project and my images so if if i tapped on the old pixel app folder it carries everything but for you if assuming you all, all you need is just the preset right or you have some selected presets right you have only p1 here right but as on my hot phone i have a lot of them so it's as, as easy as that so let's get started i'm going to send um okay on my old phone on my old phone i'm gonna tap on pixel app as a whole just like this and i advise you to do that as well to make the job easier just tap on pixel app and send everything so before that make sure you have not sent your images your pixel app images on that space because you'll find them here as well all right so let me do that on my i did it already and it's transferring currently so i will resume it you can see and make sure you reduce the size if you don't want to waste, waste your time like i did you know this dog this ones here are just designs that i need to use maybe designs are three months to this time these are the ones you can find there and projects all right projects that i need project that i recent so if there are projects that are not important to you you could just upload them to your drive and delete them on your smartphone so i'll pause the video now All right. Um, sorry, I never thought uh, this this thing is kind of too uh, large. So you can see eight gig. So all the pixel app folder has been moved successfully. All right. So uh, the first thing you have to do now, when you check your pixel app, you won't find this there. And you have to understand something. All right. You have to understand how things work. So things don't work like magic here. Go to your folder. Go to your folder and uh the the first thing you should know is that f 
from your internal storage yes the time you click on your internal storage you discover that this pixel folder is the one that is there by default now there's another pixel folder but it's not here the one i sent just now can be found on that sender all right so you'll have to move this one that is on that sender to the one that's on that pixel now to avoid confusion because when we start when we start moving things that are related you get confused okay so tap on folder because i moved it as a folder you can see it here our uh, pixel app folder here you could see you could see them all right so uh what we do is what we do is um the auto save do i even need it i don't need the auto save so i'm gonna delete it um delete permanently all right so i don't need the auto save and what i need is a preset what i need is a preset the for the okay for the images i could move the images to another folder and give it a name let me just give you a hint on how to do such a thing let's assume you are moving something from um from sender so i'll select all then i'll tap on this preset so that it should be out of it so i have 400 pixel lab um image image here yeah, images here yeah, 400 images so i will just tap on move to all right so i'm gonna create new folder and call it old or pixel lab old pixel lab because it's much already i don't want to tamper with my with my new designs all right what's the correspondent of pixel lab let me give it pixel lab old move to folder all right so it's it's gonna move all the 400 this this is not gonna take up your time at all so it's gonna move the old 400 um pixel out fives to move it to another image folder that's pixel out folder so we are left with the presets now all right we are left with the presets so you you can't move the old pixel out preset you can't move it inside another preset there will be confusion so you have to enter inside the presets then select all the, you can see these are my projects all right you can see some of the projects that i want to retain you can see they are kind of much all right the project i want to retain so i will select all of them so note that i have to enter inside the preset folder i'm not moving the old folder so i have to enter inside the, now don't forget this is from sender to folder to pixel lab then to preset all right now before i do this uh, someone might think something else has been done at the background. You can see this is what we have here right now. Then you come to your preset here. We have 265 presets. All right, all these files they are presets. So then I just tap on move, move to right. So you look for the original pixel app. This is the original pixel app folder. So this one is the one I created just now. This is the original pixel app folder. You can see. Then you click on presets. All right, you have only P1. The only p1 which was here then you move this just move here so everything we just mix together with the p1 available there already so let's just wait for a few seconds and i don't know why it's calculating but everything's just gonna send inside this particular process folder all right so let's give a few minutes and check out let me just post this all right, so you can see it's uh, moving, moving actually. Um, you can see that moving into the preset. So I've moved all the individual files by selecting them all from the preset under Pixel Lab under the folder of Sender. Right, I've moved them to the real Pixel Lab folder that was created by Pixel Lab automatically in my. Um, file manager so i'm very sure this is clear and the few ones that have been transferred let's verify them i don't want this video to be unnecessarily long so let's see so if i tap on projects you would see some projects here you see some of them here you could see all right all these things were not here before as you can see you tap on it you can see them some projects that were not here before it was only um p1 that was here before and you could see a whole lot of them here right now and this is a project um that i i did um weeks ago you can see it is a real life project all right so it is as easy as this you can see that so it is not something uh unknown 
it's as easy you can see that these are relatable stuffs here all right so this method can be used for various things all right so uh before we conclude this video if you have not liked the video if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel um kindly do so it really goes a long way thank you very much and i am samuel precious once again you've got any question you've got any request um check the description of the video and to join our communities to you know um get on with me on whatsapp um to have anything to discuss with me at all i'm always available you just check the description of this video then you see all the necessary links and information that you may need at all all right bye for now